Like it's a whole expansion pack, Troy. You're intrigued by one sentence? Yes. Yes to hell I am. What's up, food? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side. And because we have a lot of Sims 4 official and mod news to discuss in today's video. I mean, well, it's not really official news from EA, but they're kind of leaks, especially if you've been following me on Twitter and you've been following all the news on Twitter. And something else got leaked today, which actually a few minutes ago I just saw, so this video is perfect. I apologize for any weirdness in my facial expressions. This eye, yeah, this one right here, is draining. I woke up, it hurts. I put in a lot of eye drops, and it's just like constantly draining fluid. So it happens. It's been happening since middle school. I have my tissue. Let me go ahead and dab it because, like, a piece is like literally just like, oh my god. Oh, does it look like I'm crying? Yeah. Well, I'm crying on the inside right now. Just. Not on the outside. My eye is doing it on its own. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. So yeah, we're going to discuss that today. And if you haven't seen my face before, here it is. Especially, like, I show it all the time on my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv backslash it's me, Troy. I stream on the weekends. And in some videos, you probably didn't get that far on my channel because YouTube stops my videos at a certain point. And you're scrolling. But yeah, here it is. Hi. How you doing? Say hi in the comments. But let's go ahead and just jump right in because we have a lot to discuss. Okay, so we're on Twitter. And it's official. The next expansion pack for The Sims 4 is eco lifestyle um before we even read the post i have two things one an expansion pack two we already have like the conservational conservationalist and the off the grid lot trade which i think is still kind of buggy so having a whole expansion pack around this i don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think so far apparently it's eco lifestyle um Let's just, let's just click on the Sims community link. All right, everything is actually linked for you guys. Anything I talk about, anything I discuss, will be linked in the description box below for you to go and share it and go read it for yourself. Just keep that in mind. Why is it taking so long? Okay, here we go. EA has linked the name in the description of the next expansion pack for the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. <sighs> All right, check out what the pack is about. Now, I, okay, this is like the official EA website. Let me go ahead and just click, okay. The official EA website, EA Games. Actually, let's go find it, EA.com. You know, let's go, let's go find it for ourselves. Let's go, let's go see. Play live, oh yeah. EA, okay, games, PC, uh, The Sims. What I says, The Sims Discover University. I wonder if it's still there. Probably not. I mean, I wouldn't keep it up here, like, to be honest, you know? The Sims, that says Island Living. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll see it anymore. I wish it was like something you could see, uh, you know, like a, a path, a directory path. All right, so a Sim Studio, Eco Lifestyle, ready for your Sims to impact their world. Move into a community of fellow collaborative makers in the Sims for Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Play to change and make a difference in the new world of Evergreen Harbor. We get a new world. Help your new neighbors decide on a community space project. Reduce your eco footprint and watch your neighborhood transform. You'll be surprised about what happens when your sims start making the rule okay i don't want to hack on it right now but i do want to say that it may be something like completely new as in gameplay wise like you'll be surprised what happens when your sims start making the rules i i kind of am intrigued about this last part I wonder what that means. If it means that whatever you do in game could impact the entire world, we technically don't have that. There's a lot of features in The Sims 4 we don't have from previous games that we use mods to enhance. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm kind of uh, about the eco lifestyle, but I'm intrigued about that last sentence. And I know it's like it's a whole expansion pack, Troy. You're intrigued by one sentence? Yes, yes, the hell I am. Okay, I am. Because right, that's the only thing that has piqued my interest out of this entire thing. Besides a new world, which, I mean, to be honest, we need more worlds. I'm, I'm sorry. Can we just get, like, a whole expansion or update? Or you know what? You know, downloadable content we could even pay for. Of new worlds. I would pay for new worlds in The Sims 4. Blank worlds, worlds with pre-made Sims that don't matter. I will, I will pay to get me some new worlds. All right? Which, to be honest, we, we pay already. In patch packs and gay packs but that's beside the point right now all right so anyway moving on there's there's, there's nothing else there's nothing else on here there's nothing like okay there's there's basically nothing else if you're not following me on twitter uh, please do so but i do want to point out there was a picture on twitter that show yes i have my tissue in my hand for my eye 
Um, there was a picture on Twitter that actually showed Target Zebra having like a country living pack. The tweet is gone. Um, if you are on, like, if I'm on mobile, I can still see it, but I guess the person deleted the tweet. Um, let me see. Count, yeah, yeah, it's gone. It's completely gone. But it was all over Twitter yesterday, so I guess I don't know. Like, to be honest, we've leaked, like, stuff has been leaked from Target for a minute. And to be honest, at this point, it's like, is it intentional? Because, yeah, Target, they, they, you know, when it comes to leaks, it's like, oh my god, is it Target again? So, I don't, I don't know. All right, I don't really know. But moving on. All right, so the reason why that listing is no longer available because it's been marked as fake. So we're on the Sims community, and I'm so glad I scrolled through. I was actually exporting the video, and here we are back in. So update. The Sims 4 member E.L. Lunicity has pointed out that the target listing shown down below has been photoshopped by someone from an older Google image that you can see down below. We've marked the speculation as fake, and if you go to the forum post, here's L. Lunicity. And somebody wrote, has anyone got a copy of the Zebra Device leak of DU? This image, including the avatar top left, looks familiar enough to be a Photoshop troll. And they responded, oh my god, now that you mentioned it being Photoshop, this is 199.9% present a photoshop of a real pic posted by a target employee on the target subreddit three months ago and there's the you know well yeah it's telling me that i'm leaving we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave all right so here it is this is uh play school heroes transformers something something and then here is the uh well they they, they showed it um wish it was the same from top down but anyway anyway this from target has been considered fake and so probably no country living I mean, there may be a little country living in the next, the new next expansion pack. Let me know in comments what you guys think. Boo doo, boo doo. All right, so moving to the mod side of this video, I did, get, I did tell you there's mod and EA news here. There is going, there is a official open world mod in the making, and I say open world mod with air quotes. Do we still do air quotes? Probably not. Open world mod because it's not exactly what you're thinking to be honest i really anything that says open world mod in the sims 4 i have super doubts mainly because stacy has given me trust issues with her last open world mod um and to be honest i know for a fact that open world is not possible to do in the sims 4 because of the way it is structured so to say that this is the open world, you do gotta read. So this is from The Sims Plus. I can finally announce the, the officially the biggest project I'm working on, The Sims 4 Open Worlds mod. No release date yet. Before asking questions, please read the information below. Whip and support on. All right, so here we go. This is the big thing right here because a lot of people will just run with open world and not read all the information. As you can see, there's 3.9 thousand people that like this initial tweet about open worlds but only 285 have liked the tweet that actually tells you what they mean so about 3,000 people are expecting open world didn't read and 285 are like oh okay plus we're gonna we're gonna say plus because some people probably like oh my god open world i liked it and they came down here was like oh so TS4 Open World Project began when I started creating the Medieval Island mod. I discovered some really interesting stuff in the game's files and learning new things about modding and coding every day. Attention! This mod won't bring the Sims 3 kind of open world. That's a big thing. Like, we won't, we won't ever see Sims 3 type open world from a mod. Alright, this mod will bring houses, shops, gyms, theaters, parks, and many other builds to existing and or new worlds that you'll be able to visit without any loading screen. They will be off lot, so not edible with build by mode, but edible with Twisted Mexi's tool mod. If you're not if you're not familiar with Twisted Mexi's tool mod, I almost did a tutorial on it. Um, I played around with it. It's kind of cool, especially if you really want to like um, customize your worlds, like putting things like on. Like, maybe you want a basketball hoop in your cul-de-sac on the road. You want more cars. You want to have, like, you want to stage a nice little uh, block party. You can do that with the tool mod. It will be possible to assign open houses to your neighbors and visit them, but they will be NPCs. Any other building will be functional. Gym, shop, etc. The goal of this mod is to bring life into this game by avoiding loading screens. Okay. To be honest, the loading screens in The Sims 4 aren't that bad, especially if you have um, your computer meets the requirements with The Sims 4, especially if you're modding. I know my loading screens aren't that bad. Um, it just depends on, you know, making sure your mods are up to date or you take them out and 
if they're broken you know just gotta keep on top of your mods folder but for those of you who have like close to 100 gigabytes of mods i don't know what to tell you not your mods folders do it are you really playing with almost 100 gigs all right y'all so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel here on youtube Especially if you love mods, because my channel is mainly about mods and breaking you some Sims news. I know I'm kind of late with this Sims news. Um, you know, it's, been, it's, it's just been that kind of week slash day slash month slash year, okay? You know, everyone is, you know, everything is out of whack here. And I just want to, you know, point that out, even though you probably like, Troy, what the hell are you talking about? Don't mind me. I'm just babbling on. Follow me on Twitter. Right here. Right there. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm trying to get to 10K. And let me know in the comments what you guys think of all this news. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, boo.